Don't even think about going near my dog. And another dramatic showdown between that aggressive coyote and a pit bull near a little league field in the South Bay. Our ABC tennis reporter Michael Chen tells us the reason for the overly aggressive coyotes. They can be spotted on a daily basis. Sunday morning, feed from the fields of the South Bay Little League. There you are. By the time Keanu McCallan hit record on his phone, the ugliest part of the encounter had just played out between his five-year-old pit bull Minimas and this coyote. We're rolling together. When I turned around and I started yelling, they separated because I'm not only yelling, I'm running towards them, and the coyote went up into the bushes. It wouldn't back off for long. Don't even think about going near my dog. For the next half hour, McCallan says the coyote would repeatedly charge at his dog. I keep getting in the way. The coyote literally comes feet within feet of me. A similar showdown back in May, just a few hundred yards away. Hey! Hey! McCallan recorded this video of a coyote. He believes it was a different one as it jumped a park fence and attacked Minimus, who was not injured in that encounter or the one this weekend. It shows that uh, they're aggressive. They're... Uh, they're protecting their area. Since the start of the pandemic, neighbors have been reporting a pack of aggressive coyotes roaming the baseball fields and nearby Loma Verde Park. During May, when this video was recorded, reports of six pets killed. McAllen lives next to the fields. I think there's far too many people going down there feeding the animals. I actually see people doing this. There's people walking down there with bags of meat, throwing it along the bushes. This happens daily. Neighbors have complained to city leaders who put into motion an education and trapping plan. A plan McCallan says can't come soon enough. I'm just trying to give a, a cautionary tale for people to be a little bit more careful. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Chula Vista City staff was recently directed to come up with a coyote education plan, which could include trapping at a last resort. It is unclear when the city council may vote on this.